And welcome back to Bliss Honeybee at Bliss Backyard Farm. We're going to put together some hive frames. And we're going to attach the two sides first. We're going to apply some wood glue to the top of the sides. And we're going to attach the top to the side. Making sure it's snug. Tap it down. And attach the other side piece to the top. And tap it down. I'm using 4D inch and a half galvanized finish nails. You want to attach both sides first. It helps stabilize it so you can nail it. Make sure that nail is nice and straight and you won't poke out on the side. Wipe off any excess glue. And that's why I have the cardboard. And do the same to the other side. Keeping that nail good and straight. You don't have a whole lot to work with as far as getting that nail down and it could go out the sides. So you always want to put the frame, the uh, foundation in there if you're going to include a foundation. Some people don't put foundations in, they use wire or just leave them blank. If you notice there's the corners knocked out, some people do that, others don't. Some people call it a communi communication hole. And that allows the bees to travel. I've heard people mostly say it goes on the bottom, but I've seen it both ways. And we've attached the bottom very much so like we did the top, and we're keeping those nails nice and straight. Wiping off the excess glue. You notice that side is pushing out a little bit, so you got to draw it back in, holding it with a knee or however you can. And put that nail down in there good and straight. There's those communication notch outs on the bottom. And you also want to make sure it's not twisted. So you can just look straight down the top there and make sure the bottom lines up. But there's one completed high frame. I'm going to do another one. And once again, we're going to apply glue to the upper sides. It's easy to do them both at one time. You attach the side to the top, once again, making it secure and bottom out onto the side. And it's good and snug. And you don't, if you did one side, you'd have to be holding that the whole time. If you notice it just stands by itself and you, you can drive that nail straight in. If it does get a little sideways, just straighten it back out. And wiping off that excess glue again. And placing that nail in there again. Once again, those are 4D inch and a half galvanized finish nails. And galvanized because they're outside. Place that foundation in there again. And 
Got a pie apple blue. And nail it down. And wiping off that excess glue again. The glue really makes it hard to even try to break them apart, you might say. So the glue does all a lot for these. So just make sure you get a good exterior glue. And there it is. The finished frame. I want to thank you for watching and please hit subscribe and like. Have a good day.